This is a Lisa Zhu emulator in Excel. It's a static model in the sense that uh, if you don't click any button, if you don't change any numbers here, any input parameters, the uh, the curve will uh, not move, will not change, will not rotate. It is essentially a parametric curve. There are two sinusoidal signals in columns B and C, and the parameter is time in column A. We can change the frequency of uh, signal number 1 by using this button and also you can change the phase using this other button and uh, let's make it 5 make it 6 if you make it 6 just get an ellipse so you can uh, change it between a segment of line a line segment and circle in between you have an ellipse Certainly you can uh, play with this as much as you want, get uh, interesting patterns. This worksheet, actually this workbook has two worksheets. One is the basic one, one is the three-dimensional static Lisa Zhu emulator. What you have here, you have a 3D parametric curve, so you have three sinusoidal signals all having adjustable frequencies and various phase difference between them and then another thing you have here you have some formulas to do 3D to 2D perspective mapping right here and go to a UV system of coordinates which is what we plot here so uh, let's change some stuff here I like this one so now we change the one of the frequencies we can change the phase difference phase differences let's uh, change some perspective parameter here the altitude azimut, azimut change Play a little bit with the frequency of the second signal. Let me see what you get here. And Very interesting what happens here. You can play with this for hours and see changes that occur in the picture. Another file I wanted to show you is a dynamic Lisa Zhu emulator. You can start it and see the picture the the pattern, the Lisa Zhu pattern moving. You can change the frequency to the first signal by clicking on this button. Also you can have a fine. There's a coarse and a fine change. And now the pattern just moves by itself, just like on a real oscilloscope. Another thing you can do, you can introduce some fun effects, I call them, which is nothing more but uh, rotation and cyclic scaling of the pattern. Let's decrease this.
you can download this on my blog excelunusual.com together with a tutorial about the uh, Lisa Zhu generation also there's many more models there and um, lots of tutorials everything is free come over if you like something or you have some suggestions leave a comment thanks for watching